Geocaching, the challenge of hunting down hidden treasures left behind by other enthusiasts. Using handheld global positioning satellite units, your traversing skills, and whatever clues the stasher may have left behind for you. Some say they do it for bragging rights, others for the thrill of the hunt, but all agree that the journey is the real reward. Join us on this enduring adventure as our team of stashers challenge our team of cachers, you, and the geocaching community, physically as well as mentally, in an epic battle of wits, logic, and outright guts. Watch as we reveal the locations to these epic areas and find the hidden clues that help you solve the puzzles and ultimately the cache. And now, your journey begins. Hey, this is uh, Graham here, Ozga. Uh, I'm up here beta testing uh, what I think is gonna be a really, really awesome cache called Athena's Requiem. Uh, already done a little bit of, of sleuthing, I suppose. Parked at the coordinates down the way there, the parking coordinates. Uh, had a bit of a hike to this point, got about a tenth of a mile up here, uh, where I'm apparently searching for a clue left to me by, uh, by Zeus. But uh, anyway, uh, it's, uh, it's actually, I think, going to be a lot of fun and a bit of an honor to be the, uh, one of the beta testers for the cache. Again, it's called Athena's Requiem, uh, and uh, I'm going to go get started. So uh, yeah, so here I am at the at the first set of, uh, of coordinates. I decided to take the more exciting route. Yeah, so I've, I found the uh, I found the word, the letters that Zeus left me here, uh, and uh, yeah, I think I'll be able to pop that in, and uh, I think that's going to lead me to the next uh, the next stop. But hey, let me tell you, <laughs> this view is freaking amazing, uh, absolutely amazing. So uh, awesome, awesome day, and uh, yeah, it's just it's good to be alive. Uh, Let's just hope we continue to do that. So, I got the letters. All right, so you got a mailbox. It's like Athena there. All right, there's stuff in there. <laughs> oh, great. All right, there's a there's a lock there. All right, I can't get that. Okay. If you see red on the string, please stop. Do not let the key go too far up. Positive that way, negative that way, down to retrieve, and then the reverse to to replace. All right, so. Um, I don't have an, a spare battery, but let me just get one out of my out of my GPS here. Okay, so okay, positive, negative. All right, so I positive there and negative there. Oh, my key's coming down. It said red. Uh, red. <laughs> Tricky sob. Oh, all right. Key up. Yeah, that'll fit perfectly, I think. Uh, maybe this one. Ah, there we go. And it turns. All right, please only take one sheet per group. Okay. All right. Yeah, so it says, Alpha, Mount Olympus, you're about to begin an epic journey which will test you physically and mentally. From here, you will travel to Hades in search of Athena. Uh, beta Hades, we got some parking coordinates, and then it says we got to do stuff. We're looking for for a code. So uh, once I put the battery back in the GPS, we'll put those parking coordinates in and uh, uh, see how far away that is, and and walk or drive and and go from there. All right, hey, it's Ozzef here again. I think I'm at the entrance to Hades there, according to the information sheet. This is the River Styx. I went through a hole in the fence, drove a long way to get here, had some food on the way. Uh, but anyway, I've got my uh, Got my headlamp there because we're going into that cave there. Was actually here at this stage once before for uh, uh, a stage of Tube Torture 2, which was an, an epic, uh, oh boy, like it took uh, 9, 10, 11 hours uh, over some, again, some fairly cool places uh, in Western North Carolina. 
and uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to getting back in there. So uh, anyway, we're, we're looking for a sign from Athena. Uh, so I'm going to stick the headlamp on and, and head in. Okay, so uh, we've uh, just come into this huge uh, antechamber here that I remember from 242. Uh, it was a wake, wake home spot. You can actually still see some, uh, uh, some painting on that site. There's a tiki lamp, uh, flame right here with some funky uh, symbols on it there. But we've also, of course, found uh, something related to the There's an L over here with a wire over here. It looks like there's a 9 volt attachment. So I'm going to go over and uh, uh, pop that 9 volt attachment and see what happens. Okay? Alright, so here's the 9 volt. Pop it in. Alright, I think that stays. Alright, so now what the instructions said was to point you in the right direction. So apparently I'm supposed to be going in this direction down here. But it looks like there's something else. Uh, it looks like there's something else up there. Maybe some other technology. I remember that the the instruction sheet that I got way back when I mentioned something about a, a TV remote, which I brought just in case. So on the off chance that this is here as well, let me just see what happens. TV remote, I don't know what I'm going to have to do here, but let's just see. Well, uh, I've just come through the, uh, the, the Hades cave there. Uh, inside the middle there, uh, there's some use useful information, I think, for uh, where we're going to be for the next stop. Um, and the, uh, the, the cache page, I've got spider webs everywhere. The cache page says that uh, what I'm looking for next is above the, the, uh, the entrance or the exit, whichever, however you're looking at, above the cave here. So, uh, I'm gonna go check up there somewhere. I can already already see some interesting looking rocks, so I'm gonna check up there and see if maybe that's there's something that I'm looking for there. So, so I wasn't sure what we were looking for. I didn't know if we we're looking for an actual container or what, but then I saw just a hint of uh, some some plasticky stuff. So uh, it looks like we've got this is Medusa. You can see all the the snakes in her head there. I'm assuming that's Medusa, and there is a QR code there. Uh, a little information on the back, so I need to get my phone out. All right, so I'm gonna have to go in here pretty tight. It did something. Come on. Oh, the website. I see what the website is, and it looks like I'm in the right spot. This content is password protected. Password equals Ruth, all caps, smiley face. All right, so T R U T H. All right, let's see what happens. Congratulations for getting this far. The clue you were looking for is Gorgon. All right. All right, let's see what we got here. Kind of guess. That's just a counterweight. All right, just to keep that there. Okay. Got it. Okay. All right. Um, that's not going to be high enough or low enough. Well, wait a second. So there's nothing here. Okay. Ah. Well, so, we uh, hiked up here, had the coordinates to uh, uh, a spot that was called the Altar, uh, which is this rocky expanse up here. And then I commenced probably a 10 or 15 minute search of the area, uh, trying to find something. Didn't know what I was looking for. And uh, yeah, so I found, finally found what I was looking for, which was a, uh, an ammo box about, uh, I don't know, I don't know, 30 feet uh, in the air. Had to find 
where the release cord was, which wasn't that far away, quite honestly. Um, but it took me a while to, to see the line up in the, in the canopy. Uh, lowered the box and discovered this thing, which looks like a Cryptex. Um, so what's interesting is that there are eight letters here, and the clue I had was six letters. So that's going to screw with me a bit, isn't it? Uh, so anyway, I'm going to see. Uh, I've got the clue. I think it's the clue I got from uh, Hades, from the Medusa QR code thing. Uh, and we've been supplied uh, some letters here. So I have to figure out whether it's the first six or the last six or the middle six and uh, see if we can go from there. So if it's the middle six, I don't know what you'd use as, as marker letters. Anyway, well, let, me, let me just uh, see what we got. We'll go from there. Maybe the last two don't do anything. Let's see. All right, I'm going to go with that. Well, let's see if we even got that letter. Oh, there's an option. That's the G. Uh, o. R. G. O. N. Oh, blank. <laughs> Well, so I don't know. I think I've got. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I don't know what I, I got. Something in there? I don't know. Let's see. I didn't see those two blanks. Have I seen those two blanks? Oh, oh. Hey, I got coordinates. Athena's temple. Oh, nice. So I'm going to pop, pop these in. So we're up at a place called The Altar. Um, and uh, yeah, it was a fun, fun stage. I think I already talked about that a little bit. It was hidden way high and it took me a while to even find it. And then I had to lower it and a really, really awesome cryptex a la Da Vinci Code. Uh, put in the, uh, the hint I got from Hades there. Gorgon, open it up. There's a, a brass tag with the coordinates to the temple. And now I got 230 uh, feet or so towards the temple over that way in the woods somewhere. So uh, I think this might be the last stage. Uh, so yeah, it's been a fun, oh heck, uh, five hours, <laughs> I think so far. Uh, so the end is, uh, end is near. So I'm going that way. All right, I see something down there that might be it. I don't know. Ooh, hey, this is cool. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, I think I found it. I see something that wouldn't normally be there. All right, so. Uh, yeah, so I'm guessing this is probably the final. Yeah, coordinates look pretty good considering I'm in a cave here. Hey, official geocache. Oh, all right. Ah! Oh, crap. I got another, uh... All right, I think there's a smiley face right there and, uh... Uh, the list of coordinates of this cache are for the middle of, of Chris's geo art in Lake Lure, and, and uh, that's called truth. So, uh, all right, take this off completely, try to figure out how to put that back on. Okay, a little, little suction there, so. All right, nice. And <laughs> we got stuff. I don't know if you can see that there, but. Uh, Okay. All right. Trade items. All right. More trade items, including a troll doll. All right. 
all right, stuff. And what I want, which is for the log book. Oh, it says some stuff in the front here. Congratulations, da 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 da. First to find. Of course, that'll be first to find for someone who's actually out here doing this on their lonesome. Or, but uh, I've got, I do have some trade items here. Let me find them. So this Hi, is Chris and Osgoff. Graham just completed uh, the beta test for uh, Athena's Requiem. Ooh. Graham, what'd you think? Oh, it was awesome. It was a, a ton of fun. Uh, I think uh, overall it was about five hours uh, from uh, from getting to the parking coordinates uh, of the first stage to getting back to the car uh, at the last one there. Uh, it took a little longer because we had to drive a little little south from uh, from Asheville to begin with. But hey. There was a lot of different stuff there. There was a lot of variability, a lot of different things going on. So, uh, you know, definitely a physical challenge uh, for a middle-aged fat guy and, and absolutely no doubt a mental challenge because there was a, a lot of different things that we had to do, that uh, I had to do along the way. So, uh, way cool, a lot of fun. Uh, really, really enjoyed beta testing it. And I think that, you know, when this thing goes live, folks are gonna have a lot of fun doing it as well. Very cool. And uh, what was your uh, favorite stage? Well, you know, I mean, there, there, there's no doubt. I mean, it's, you know, not that I'm a tech guy, uh, but, you know, the Hades stage had a lot of technology involved. Um, so there was a lot of stuff going on, uh, a lot of things that, you know, we, uh, we had to use. Um, you know, so there was, uh, there were, you know, laser eyes. There was uh, a remote TV, remote control. Um, QR code led us to something else. There was, uh, yeah, so there was just a lot of, oh, heck, what else? There was a black light. <laughs> yeah, so it was a lot of things going on in that stage. Plus, we were just in this way, way cool, uh, cool spot. Uh, I mean, that antechamber um, uh, is, is just an awesome spot. Um, and uh, I, I think, you know, folks who haven't been there before will just be like, whoa, uh, just blown away at how, uh, uh, how cool it is so uh, but you know the other spots were just you know some great views I mean the uh, the first stage has great views the last stage has or the second last stage has has some fantastic views so I mean it's just uh, it's it's highlighting uh, some awesome spots in Western North Carolina um, and uh, you know the the, tech, the technology that's been added here uh, just makes it a, a hoot so well done Chris hope you guys enjoy it and uh, we'll see you guys soon thanks <laughs> yeah, he just texted me the GC code, and as soon as I pulled it up, I saw the word Athena. Now it was holy <laughs> <the> GC. <laughs>